Today we are celebrating the feast of St. Gregory Barbarigo. He was an Italian cardinal, a diplomat, and a scholar. He was born September 16, 1625, into a noble family of Venice. He was the eldest child of Venetian Senator Giovanni Francesco Barbarigo and Lucretia Leon, who died on March 19, 1631, of the plague. His father brought home a cousin, Franceschina Nipomani, to look after the children. His baptismal name was Gregorio Giovanni Gasparo. The other siblings were Elena, Pietro, and Antonio. His last name is also listed as Barbardico and Barbardigo. He was a relative of one cardinal and the uncle of another. His father instructed him in philosophy and mathematics, while teachers taught him Latin and Greek and he also received the rudiments of music. In 1643, he accompanied the Venetian ambassador, Eloise Contrari, to Munster for the negotiations to prepare for the Peace of Westphalia, which ended the Thirty Years' War, and which was signed on October 24, 1648. There he became acquainted with Archbishop Fabio Chigi, the nuncio in Cologne, and a participant in the negotiations. Then he went to Holland and Flanders, and finally to Paris. After five years, on July 1648, he returned to Venice and continued his studies in Padua. In 1650, he was elected a member of the college and initiated his political career, which he did not find satisfying. In the winter of 1653, he went to Rome to ask advice from Cardinal Chuigi, the future Pope Alexander VII, who recommended him not to retire as a hermit, but to follow the ecclesiastical career and by obtaining a degree in canon law. Gregory obtained a doctorate in canon law, both canon law and civil law, on September 25, 1655, and was ordained a priest on December 21, 1655 by the Patriarch of Venice. He left for Rome at the end of February in 1656, and he was called by Pope Alexander, who initiated him into the papal service, and he was made a Monsignor. On April 21, 1656, he was appointed a referendary of the tribunals of the Apostolate Signature of Justice and of Grace. On June 9, 1665, he was given a canonicate in the cathedral chapter of Padua without the requirement of residence. In 1656, at the request of Pope Alexander VII, he organized the assistance to the Romans in the Trastevere area who had been stricken by the plague. Pope Alexander VII consecrated him as the first bishop of Bergamo on July 29, 1657. The, His Excellency took possession of the diocese the following September 2nd and arrived there on March 27, 1658. He reorganized the seminary and thoroughly inspected the 279 parishes of the diocese. He'd been a very successful bishop of Bergamo, and Pope Alexander VII had him promoted to the cardinalate in 1660. In 1664, he was made bishop of Padua, in entering upon his episcopal duties there, he strove to model himself on St. Charles Borromeo. He was a strong supporter of the work of the Council of Trent. He made the seminaries of Padua and of Bergamo larger and added a library and a printing press in Padua. He died in Padua on June 18, 1697. He was beatified by Pope Clement on July 6, 1761 and he was canonized nearly 189 years later by Pope John XXIII on the 26th of May, 1960, the first saint canonized by Pope John XXIII. Pope John XXIII is said to have felt a very close relationship with St. Gregory, and he maintained a lifelong devotion to his work. In the general calendar of 1962, he has a third-class feast on the 17th of June, 
And sometimes this feast is also celebrated on the 18th of June. Blicat vos omnipotens Deus, Pater et Filius et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.